quite well. It's like all the um, reading. reading. Yeah, it's almost like it's a basic life skill. But reading, who who would have thunked it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm good at. Right. Well, hot dog. Well, hot baby dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Do you know a place that might sell scrapbooks? The works That's a very Smith. interesting question to ask as we open the Smith. podcast. So Are we ready to start this, by the way? I'm sharing myself I, I, I oh, No one cares. I do. I make a scrapbook. <laughs> five, five, one. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just framing it. That's all. Oh, oh sorry. Stop smelling me. I didn't smell you. <laughs> your no, your body's having to be the way of my nose as I was breathing in. <laughs> Jesus. A one. A two. A two. A three. You're oh. supposed to clap. You did it wrong. You're dead. <laughs> 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 Do you know how gaze on the podcast? What the no comment. Where, Where did that comment? come from? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> you didn't respond. Cheers, guys. I, just thought, I didn't think I needed to, I thought... Come on. Let's have some parliamentary proceedings. <laughs> I hadn't pulled my Come on, yeah. come on gents. Let's have some parliamentary proceedings. Here. But no, um... Welcome to this... What? It's my Christy Bank impression. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Can you just let me introduce the podcast at least? Welcome. To... <laughs> the ZT Podcast. Yes. <laughs> Episode. Oh, this is like a bonus episode. It's not going to be in the official number. Oh, yeah, it is. I think is it, it will be. It'll be a good episode one. I'm not, nine I'm not, or ten. I'm, I'm not devaluing this one. It's going to be probably the best one yet. Our improvisation skills will be hyped up to 11. But oh, um, this is. Um, we're talking about like uh, student life as of up, up to date now, just stories that we've had and how we've found our experience at uni. We've done a lot of these off topic things about student life, so we thought we'd do a proper. Yeah, and we've touched on uni life before, but that was without us, so, you know. Yeah, it was. You should have been there. I mean, you would have liked it. You, you would have liked it the most. You would have really liked it. It was just, it was just, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to talk about, well, we've already talked about uni life before, but now that was, that was like, before December, I think. It was, um. So, you know, New Year. It was like the fifth one, <laughs> on the, it was in, it was in November sometime, I think. It yeah. was like, um. But, you know, New Year and New Me and. Oh, shut the fuck up. All that kind of. Like New Year, same old fucking you. Alright. I'm joking, of course, but you know. Why am I drinking? So, yeah, if you couldn't guess already, this is the one where we drink alcohol. We decided to do this one because we're bored, and as well as that, I, I've come to the conclusion that we we don't have to hide out the, the use of alcohol in videos because it's not like we're going to get demonetized if we're not monetized <laughs> yeah, in the first place. Yeah, modern problems require modern solutions. Yeah, no. So yeah, what, this is us just under the influence of the alcoholic beverage. Social, seeing where our social, conversations take social us. lubricant. <laughs> social lubricant. It is like four percent. Basically, yeah. my zombie squash. Mm. It is. And that being said, my rum and coke is five percent. Obviously, I've got JD and coke, which is the only alcohol I drink apparently. But no, that's pretty much the only drink I show. And sandwiches. You drink sandwiches as well. Not that much. I did the other night. Oh my god, I like Copperberg though. So anyway, anyway. Cider. That's besides, that's besides one. Cider. Did you, did you know, fun fact for metalheads out there, a rum, a, not rum, a Jack and Coke is also known as a Lemmy because it was a Lemmy Kilmister's favourite drink. Oh yeah. Shut the fuck up, you're not even a metalhead. No, thank you. Sure. You can blur this out in post. What? Huh? You can blur that out in post, I mean. No, Don't I can't. Piss off. Don't I can't, you've, you've fucked up the audio forever. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the CG podcast. Quiver. Quiver? My pussy is firm and twitching. <laughs> <It's been like laughs> so how has your guys' last week been then, since we're talking about student life? Decent. Yeah. I should move to come back. <laughs> and that's all for today. That's it. That's the podcast. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. cheers. But no, um, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. Um, cheers. Oh, I'm not a part of that. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Tap my hand. There you go. Yay, I feel special. You are. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so the, so the week that's coming up for us, this is when we're recording this, is um, something called Changing Futures Week, isn't it? Yeah. So for those who don't know, it's like a careers, like yeah. a taster session. But for some week. reason, you've got no mandatory subjects. Am I right no, in thinking that? No, they're all, they're all whatever. Right, because you're, you're an English student, as we've obviously established in previous podcasts. If, if you're new on the podcast, I am Zachary Tom, this is my co-host Henry Watson, and mm. my other co-host, Otis Dowd. Just Otis, no, one, one just name. Otis. Like you're, you're just one noun, that's it. Like, like, like McLovin or Promoted Seal. to Otis. Yes, thank you. But no, um, Beyonce. Actually, there's actually a story to um, to your name, Otis. It's yes, there based is. based off of the character in Sex Ed. Yes. Right? Because I really like Sex Ed. That Otis? Page. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I liked um, Otis Redding anyway, and then that character came out and I was like, okay, that's, that's going to be my name. Look. Yeah, it's a so good name though. It's very yeah. unique, but it's also kind of, it isn't too out there, but it's also yeah. unique enough, isn't it? That's what he was going for. That's what Because I watched um, the first three episodes of Sex Ed, and so far it's actually pretty good. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, really, it's pretty good. I feel like I what I've heard from yeah. everybody... She's so fucking fit. <laughs> She's still got it. I think you're taking the wrong things from that <laughs> series. That's not the only thing. Yeah. It's like a really fun... Yeah, like I, this, the, the chemistry between the characters oh is yeah. really palpable, and like it's a really fun like dynamic. Yeah. I've already watched the first two episodes. What I've heard from, um, from everybody who's watched it is that... It, the first couple episodes, it takes a while for you to get into it, the first which, is how, really which is what tracks. I expected and, and how it's kind of turned out for me, because I'm only on episode three, and episode one I found it was alright, but I thought I'd commit to at least, now I'm on episode three and I'm starting to like Otis at least, I'm liking, um, not you, you're a piece of shit. I, yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Welcome to the we just bully Otis yeah. every week. Within ten minutes, like we're all gonna get us like this. There's gonna be a fucking. I'm gonna start like, crying. Yeah. There's gonna be a brawl. It's gonna fucking like forget the camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you I, I hate you. <laughs> we're, not, we're not supposed to be. Well, it's gonna be uncensored, isn't it? It's gonna be our unrivaled pure emotions because of our alcoholic beverage, as I keep calling it. Beverage, yo. Beverage, yo. All the night. Only one of me. Diggory, did you do? Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, That's only like. Yeah, I mean, Austra- Australia's on fire and no one cares. I'm pretty sure it's not That's anymore. That's funny, isn't it? Sorry, it's not anymore. Like, it rained, didn't it? Everyone just breezed yeah. over the fact that I just completely just roasted Australia. Oh, oh don't worry, the panic got around to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a burp. Welcome to the ZT podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so fucking hot. Oh my god. There's just the noise of wind, and I'm not sure if it picks up on the audio. Wind. Wind. Oh, you should do audiobooks. <laughs> <laughs> I actually made. I actually yeah, recorded. No. I actually recorded an audiobook on YouTube channel at one point. It was a private video. I only put it up there because, like, I was really bored one night, so I read. Okay. So I did an audiobook for Alice in Wonderland. Okay. <laughs> I did all the books. You're like. because no, that's a for the domain. So you, anyone yeah. can mess with it. Yeah. And I was just like, I've never read it, so I'll read it for the first time and then you know read it out loud and record it. Okay. Good for you. You said you wanted unbridled thoughts. I guess I'm. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is content here. This I is guess is content. I just want to keep my fucking mouth shut. I wonder when we'll get onto the topic of cats. And fuck cats. <laughs> I mean, it's so dead it's a, now. It's a very yeah. It is dead at this point, isn't it? I mean, the musical is still very good. I will like. I would like to see it one day because the film, like, while being a massive meme. Did we like go? Oh yeah. Oh, like, we still need. We do need to see Sonic, by the way. We're gonna do a Valentine's Day special, guys, because it comes out on Valentine's Day. So we got. I go, have no plans. We're gonna go as a threesome. <laughs> and uh, I'm very not how, for three people. No, I'm aware that was the joke. I was committing to a joke, Otis. I'm aware what a threesome is. Okay. <laughs> This is you, you know what one is. <laughs> Zach fucks, guys. Confirmed. <laughs> Zach's been in a yeah. threesome. It's been a lie this whole time. I'm secretly not an adult version. I am an adult version. Oh. Am I? Am I not an adult version? You'll never know. Can't relate. <laughs> Welcome to the ZT podcast. <laughs> but no. Um, Speaking of it. But the fu- finish that sentence. No, don't, don't, please don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> no, um, we're not going. Yeah, we we were thinking. There was an idea we were spitballing recently, which was uh, well, I was spitballing it, and everyone just flat rejected. But um, that on Valentine's Day we all go see Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. and for a bonus, like not bonus, but maybe a full episode of the podcast, we just review that and make that like our weird like mm, Valentine's like, Day special. Well, like we talk about like that. We could that could be a topic in of itself, like cinema experience, and considering that. 
industry is kind of deflating at the moment. Honestly, I think it's just because of awkward first dates that industry is still thriving. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are so many first dates where I've been like, I don't know, do you want to watch a movie? Yeah. Yeah. It's really cheap. You both enjoy it to at least some extent. And you don't have to talk for two hours. Yeah, yeah. You just spend two hours being like, okay, what do I say? And then, you know, like... And then at the end, you're like, it's a good film. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. (laughs) See you tomorrow, bro. Tits are sick. (laughs) See you later. (laughs) What fucking film were you watching at the (laughs) cinema? (laughs) Toy Story 3. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my Lord. No, honestly, there are so many first dates I'd, like, went to the cinema. Because it's just like yeah, it's, it's, it's a really easy like it's, it's cheap just so date. fucking easy. It's, it's like so eight, casual. It's like eight quid, maybe ten if you want to get a pack of minerals or something yeah. to share. Like it depends what cinema as well. If it's like a if it's local, cinema, it's gonna be fifty-five quid to yeah. just get in. Yeah. yeah. If it's a breathing charge, cinema, you're taking up space. Another twenty-five percent VAT. You have exhaled <laughs> carbon dioxide. You must pay. Don't it. bring your dirty peasant air into my <laughs> silly world complex. <laughs> fucking plebe go back to your cave Shrek we don't want your kind in here you repugnant beast I'm like no I just want to watch I just want to fucking watch Spider-Man please <laughs> be gone leave go to the Odeon you fucking there's no red. off switch there's no <laughs> just keep going welcome to the Henry Watson podcast everybody bro this podcast is it dies by my meme <laughs> Does actually. We should fucking just make memes point. of me and make like a Discord or some shit. Yeah, actually. <laughs> all three of our friends. That would be good. But no. Um, I actually need to sort out my Discord because it got hacked a while ago. Really? Like I got hacked into, so I need to make a new account. Damn, how do you even hack a Discord? It doesn't I sense. don't know. If I knew, I would know how to prevent it. <laughs> it's <laughs> being hacked. Yeah. I know how to hack a Discord. Did you hack my Discord? You figured out that you hacked the Discord. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, my profile, my Discord was so cursed though. I only used it just so I could like chat with my mates because they stopped using social media essentially for same, a while. Same problem. So I got Discord. I don't. I only use Discord to like play certain video games with them. So it's like the only video games I ever actually play now is um, sometimes COD, Black Ops Three, just for the nostalgia, but mostly just like Warframe or. Um, I can't, there's not really much else. Maybe Dead by Daylight on the off occasion. Dead by Daylight is like a horror game, I survive. Is that the... Sorry. Is that the you one made by that Taiwanese studio, or is that a different one? Sorry? Is that the one made by that Taiwanese video game studio? I'm not sure. There's maybe. a video game studio called Red Candle Games, and they, they make... They maybe, make, maybe, they, because they, 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 have, cause they have a bunch of different monsters that they keep adding to it. It's like they have the Trapper, they have the Shape, they have... Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. Well, well, either way, I, I play some video games. We should have a video games topic on the I, podcast. Sometimes. I don't game enough. I think I can, right. I can count the video games I play regularly on one hand. Right. Well, maybe, 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 the Arkham maybe get someone else who's played video games more, like replace Otis. Yeah. Yeah, replace, replace I don't Otis. Play video more. games. Okay, Call Mask Games for Kids does not fucking count as a video game. <laughs> it should. It should. Friv. But it does, what? Friv. Friv. You didn't play Friv? It's, it's, it's no, it's like an on. It's like loads and loads of games. It was like is the thing in like Sims year six. Oh, like those oh, little DS okay. cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm on oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Everybody's had. I was gonna say, is that some sort of like fucking like kid thing? I'm too old to understand. Yeah. That's some sort of peasant joke. I'm too rich to get. It's a, it's, it's a Zuma joke that a Boomer won't get. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I went up. Yeah. Bye. This is your departure. <laughs> You'll be hearing from my solicitor. <laughs> I demand to speak to the manager. This cunt has gone to the dogs. Yeah, we were talking about it too much, but I finished um, at the Good Place a little while ago. Love that show. You guys need to watch it. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm I've so got like twelve things on my Netflix list, as well it's as it's honestly like, really funny. As well as like books I want to read and like yeah. video games I want to play and shit. So like, this summer will be like just once I've done all my work for you. Summer. This summer, this summer, we'll be watching shows that I haven't got around to watching, like Sex Education, this summer, The Witcher, Any Plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My family will reject will me. spend my days no lifing it and doing Netflix and chill. By myself. <laughs> yeah. But no. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I still need to watch The Witcher. I still haven't started that. But that's like right at the top underneath the sex Mate, it's really good. I'm like five episodes in. Like the first few episodes you have to really pay attention because they yeah. dump a lot of like world building and stuff on you. Yeah. You no, just have to... like sex education. <laughs> it's like fucking not though, is it? <laughs> they do do a really good job of establishing like all the little dynamics in that show, like Maeve and what's her name, the one with Adam. 
Oh, the I know who you mean. Oh, the, oh, the, what, the, what season are you on? One. Oh, I'm on one as well. Please don't spoil. I won't. But okay. the, um, the blonde, blonde haired girl you're talking mm. about with the, with the not the buck teeth, but the the pronounced um, canines. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm trying to dance around the subject. She's got big teeth. Yeah, Good no. for her. Yeah, like I find it kind of attractive, but you know, that's yeah. just me. Not a fairy, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because they're, ve- like they're vaguely rabbit like. <laughs> I just want to establish that now. <laughs> just, dig- just stop digging the hole and <laughs> jump out of it while you can, Henry. But anyway, yeah, like they do a really good job of like, establishing like the French history between like, Maeve and that girl and like oh, yeah. Otis yeah. and. What's the other guy's called? Trombona. Is that Eric? Eric. Oh, right. Yeah, it's so, Eric. I love Trombona. Eric. <laughs> Eric is so <laughs> funny. I'm wild there with like fucking like a bus wanker is my new favourite insult. Trombona. I know, yeah. Or it's like, really or what's the other one? Um, I should know bus wanker from between us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I um I revisited an episode of The American in Between Us the other week. <sighs> so bad. To my own expense. <laughs> I, watched um, it for I watched. 10 I watched the one where they're in London, and mm. then he goes bus wankers. Yeah, the American version goes. Oh, bus, uh, but um, bus. I don't know what they said. Bus plebs. I'm not sure what the Americanized yeah, yeah, versions say. They say plebe though in America. They say I, plebe. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know what they said, but um, <laughs> the whole thing about about British comedy is that it can't. Well, it can be replicated. Like the Office American version is. Op- well, the Office is basically a format that you can put any comedy style into. No, yeah, no, no. That's what Ricky Gervais owns. He owns the format. That's why the Office was so popular is because it kind of fits in any sort of like. Yeah. Any sort of like scenario of yeah. filmmaking. But yeah, like, yeah. You can always own um, the name and the format. I think there are some things that you just can't Americanize and make it good because you either get British humour or you don't. Because yeah, I mean, but mind you, there is a mixed reception on the IT crowd. The American version that they did. I hate it because yeah. it's very American humour for me, and I don't really like American. I, the British one was always the best for me, but the American isn't. Bad, the only thing the American one is that Richard Arwadi is in both. Yes, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like um, the American versions, because they don't have Roy. They don't have what's his face. It's too real Roy. Oh, Chris O'Dowd. Yeah, that's it. But, um, um, also, another thing about you know British. Who's my cousin? Is he actually? No. Oh. He's not the same last name. <laughs> We're talking about Otis here. Like, God. I'm not related to anybody. I actually got really excited for a second. Hello? Did someone like talk on the phone? <laughs> they like responded to what you said. Was like, this a friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, friend, 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 special friend, friend, friend. I'm just gonna start crying. I've got friend. work tomorrow, friend. Pussy friend. Welcome to episode 100. I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Welcome to the latest in long live episodes of just bullying Otis. Yeah, this is going to be easy. We call him a fucking, fucking, fucking like go crazy, kill someone. Next anyway. week in the next week, Otis kills a man on front of my live camera. Spoiler alert! It's us. <laughs> Take a bet on him. <laughs> the winner will enter well, our giveaway to win an like Amazon that. voucher that I don't have. The winner will win, win the rights of the ZT podcast as it can't continue through us after we're dead. What? I can't. Yeah, I'm you're the name, I'm the. No, I'm you the... can't, you're not allowed. I'm not allowed to do anything. No, it'll be. It'll be like when Equal 3 was taken over by two different hosts in a year after Ray William Johnson left. Right. Yeah. Oh, exactly yeah, and then, like and then um, and Top Gear mm. lost all of its hosts as well when the guy punched the producer. I would yeah, care I if I liked Top Gear at any point. Huh? I would care if I ever had any interest in cars. I but don't I have any care. Gear. I don't have any care in cars. Oh, I but have I, any I found, cars. I found, I found Top Gear fun for the hosts. <laughs> I found Top, I found Top Gear fun for the hosts. I like James May. So when they left, I left, basically. I thought yeah. the cars were sexy. You're a jetophiliac. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, um, have you seen the um, my? Uh, is is it my strange addiction? Yeah. It's a thing on TLC where this is the guy who like fucks a car and he's like stroking the car, being like, "I'm in love with Sharon." And he's called his car like Sharon. Or I watched the one about a dude who collected dead bees. No, I've not seen that by the way. But what? <laughs> it's it's it really good. Like, there's one good. There's one guy like I like to eat glass. I love the walk. I mean, whenever I eat, I get this really warm feeling in the back of my throat. Like, like, it's like bleeding. It's like yeah, it's called fucking internal bleeding, dick. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this one girl who fucking eats drywall. I don't know if you get a taste for drywall. How'd you, how'd you work that out? You just like. There's one girl who eats mattresses, like memory from actual <laughs> carpets off like an apple. Yeah. <laughs> but you had to go back to British humor. <laughs> Oh. There are also like American swear, like British swear words. I'd say that I like, don't try right, well. Okay, we we'll have to pause this here because we're at the twenty minute break. Yeah, fucking so nice. we'll um we'll go on this commercial break and we'll be back with you guys very shortly. So see you guys in a second. Let's 
Not so, bro. I can't believe someone was like, you actually thought someone was going to fucking talk to you through maybe, the door. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I want it. I can't believe you thought that it no, was just related to. I didn't mean it like to. that. I didn't mean it like that. This is what always happens. Every. Do you want to talk about it? You don't get paid not to fucking cry. When the camera's on, I do. You don't get paid not to cry. Do you want to talk about it? We're going to get paid it? for it's stuff. It's, 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 it's not. Talk? It's really not. It's really not. Way! That's my anchor. Henry! Yeah? You won't believe this. Look at this shit. People who watch our podcast, some of them aren't even subscribed. The fuck! I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> ah! You motherfuckers, you'd better fucking subscribe. I'll fucking batter your thigh. If you know what's good for you, you're gonna subscribe. Ah! Gender is one of the <laughs> You just say it like <laughs> yep, I'm pressing the button, I don't care what you're saying. You don't care about my gender identity? Or no, the, I don't. Or I really don't. I'm, no, I really Whoa! Don't. Oh, shit, really? Whoa. I'm a tranny now. Or the dis I was gonna say dysphoria, but it's unlike like I was just gonna say dick, which Dick dysphoria. Dysphoria bum 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 bum. I don't know the song. I don't it's the dumbest in the world. Sisterbia by Free Hannah. Okay. Oh! Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should really know that. Cause I'm really bad! That's a different song. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's just an F. I don't know why I don't know why there's so many Rihanna songs. Rihanna's phenomenal. Look, this one makes a hell of a punchy bag, doesn't she? Who? What? Huh? <laughs> Cut that out, please! <laughs> No, I'm keeping it in, thanks. I don't mean that. that that's the unrivaled, idea. unrivaled thoughts. But yeah, to go back to the British comedy thing, like, while well, you said there's like an element of British humour that Americans or foreign audiences might not get or like like, I was thinking there were like there are certain British like phrases and swear words that just don't work outside of a British dialect. No, like Americans can say cunt really well because they emphasize the T. And and Australian Australians, Australians do it as well. Yeah. They 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 go cunt all the time. Cunt. So. But um, there are certain words like twat and wanker. How dare you say that, Otis? Like, Americans say twat, but they say twat, and it's really weird. Yeah. But like, yeah, you're twat. No. Wanker. I know. It doesn't sound right. It just sounds. And right. a lot of the humour in between just comes from the fact that like it's so quintessentially or a trolley fucking... or telly. You can't you telly. <laughs> telly. I'm Zach. I watch telly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm from Essex. I watch telly. Fucking. <laughs> 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 But like that's really funny. I think I think most of the humour from in between us comes to the fact that like, it is so clearly a fucking British high school. Like mm. everyone knows someone like Jay, Neil, Will, or Simon. Oh yeah, oh, the, they're just basically the, archetypes for like the typical, like the sort of like social hierarchy that you kind of fall into. One of those yeah. four. Like it's because like Americans don't really have those kinds of like stereotypes or archetypes in their culture. Like they don't right, really, like, no. like, t- like a Tory like Will isn't really like a thing in American high schools. Right. Yeah. Like, so Actually, I've got to say though, and like, well, I don't mean that, but as in like, so that like kind of character. Sex Ed is made is an Americanized British based yeah. show. It's filmed in Wales, you know. It's filmed in Wales. No, no, no. But I'm it's written, it. it's written, it's written and it's written. filmed, and the production crew is all American, mm. which is what's so um, good about it is that the writers clearly seem to get American, to some to British some extent speech, British speech and British like culture and, and humor to an extent, and like yeah. and like the sort of like school culture that goes on. With, um, and but I do have to say the school does look very Americanized with the lockers and and oh, the yeah. giant grandiose, yeah, the, whole, yeah. the grandiose and campus wearing, like, and big bright primary colors all the time. Yeah, 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 and they're not in uniform, whereas most British school like secondary schools are in uniform. Yeah, time. I mean, so, some six ones are so in uniform. They, they got most of it right. It's yeah. just I feel they kind of they they, they like I say they Americanized it, but they kept the essence of what it is to be a British kid. The essence. The, the man essence. milk of what it was. Exactly. To quote exactly Gillian Anderson. Exactly. She's still got it. Fucking hell, she's fit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the ZT podcast. So no, um, yeah, so like I said, Sex Ed, I feel, so far, I've only watched three episodes, but so far I, I, feel, like I feel like they've nailed 
to some extent. Uh, the, the uh, 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 nailed. Because it's spelled. Sex. S E K S. Dollar signs for the S. I'm sorry. Continue. It's your podcast. Thank you. You don't fucking pay us, but you know that's fine. We're going to unionise against you. So, as I'm going to revolutionise. So, as so I'm, I'm stopping from you now. So, as so, I'm. So, keep going. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, keep going, please. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> so, as I was saying. So, sex ed. Uh, I forgot what I was fucking saying now. <laughs> but look what you've done, Henry. You've run this podcast into the ground. Bro, I'm build- I'm giving you content. <laughs> shit doesn't come just <laughs> shit's free. Yeah, this is shit. This is free, yeah. I learned a lot from sex ed. Oh, fuck. Well, I have to be an f- even bigger fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so vermin. Yeah, cheers. Um, well, I'm like 12. Oh. It hurts like a mofo. <laughs> Molo truck. Molo truck. I do like a ton of bricks, bro. Molo truck. Welcome back to the Henry Watson podcast, everybody. Oh. Um, and my SoundCloud. I dropped some really tight shit. <laughs> I do know some tight shits. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> I've been like late for podcasts and like shoots was because like, I've been too busy having like a yeah. forty-five minute shit <laughs> in the fucking toilet. Uh, it would be it would be funny if it wasn't true. Right? <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. I need to get it looked at. Yeah. It's genuinely not mean, healthy. Like it's actually quite yes, ordeal. Not. And then one of the podcasts that we address that issue, you say I at least dropped it down from half an hour to twenty-five minutes <laughs> per shit. So I'm getting better. <laughs> To quote Henry. Military <laughs> precision. Uh, mom, uh, it'll get to the point where I'm like, I'm actually about 21, I'll be able to be like... Like, it'll be the end of the world. I'll be able to be like, like down, be, poo, wipe, wash, no, complete, th- there'll, be, there'll be a point where there's like a nuclear horror holocaust and I'm not going to be like, Henry, we need to go, a nuke's gone off and... One minute, please! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking the shit! <laughs> I'm trying to live your life. Let me use one last fucking time. Yeah. But no, and I'll be like... Fuck you, I'm leaving you behind if that happened. That, I wouldn't hold it against you, to be honest. Yeah. I'd leave you behind. I wouldn't I'd hold it against me. <laughs> but no, yeah. Speaking of holding, I haven't been held in a while. Just like, Do you want to talk about just, it? Just like platonically, just like a uh, hug. You, just like a just like a thing. Do, just do like you want to talk about it? I'll post later on my private about it. Oh, <laughs> oh your OnlyFans. Lit. <laughs> my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Number one subscriber. You're right here. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so broke all the time? <laughs> I'm going into your fucking OnlyFans <laughs> so you can pay for your multiple porn subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of. No. <laughs> Continue. No, go on, go on. No. We might as well. This podcast yeah, is going to be way more cursed now. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is going to be the new p- oh, cursed it'll one. It'll be the new cursed thing. It'll be the new trend. You're going to need subtitles in a minute because you're already starting to slow your speech. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking Batman video. I am a speech impediment. That was a fucking gun from Tracy B. I do, I do! You know the one who's like, that wasn't even intentional! That wasn't even intentional! Oh my god, that's so awful. I wasn't even, I didn't even think of that. I haven't even watched any Tracy B. in years. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm going to hell. <laughs> we are all going to hell. Are I'm you go- saying that because I'm gay? Oh my god, it's not all in that you! Anti semi! Anti semi? Are you saying that? <laughs> well, you're, you're, against, you're, you're against like a semi decent boner. Anti semi! Come It was a semi! <laughs> oh my lord. Little sex education joke out there for all the kids watching the Netflix. <laughs> Who would care for a 12 bite? I would love a 12 bite. Have one. Let me have one. Okay, I'll take one. (laughs) Oh my god! I'm okay, thank you. Fucking take one. One! One bag! You got me (laughs) there! You fucking cock. 
saying that because I don't have one. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't fucking win with you! <laughs> You're such a cunt! Hey! Don't, don't fucking start. <laughs> I'll fucking throw you out the room! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I've got a life to get back to. <laughs> got a wife and what kids. life? I've got a wife and kids back home. <laughs> that I'm supporting with all my podcast money. <laughs> I'm just gonna reg- I just reg- <laughs> I'm just gonna go to take your whiskey back to the house like a fucking mother bird. <laughs> Can we get you drinking for every podcast from now on, please? <laughs> you are literally just content on content. Oh, I love it. Shall we bear our souls for a bit then, lads? Huh? Let's bear our Let's bond. Let's, let's, let's share it. For a total of eight minutes until the next break. So, yeah, let's, let's do let's, it. Let's start with one deep dramatic experience. Who wants to go first? Do you have anything deep, deep, deeply unsettles you to your core? <laughs> 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 no, um, so I used to. Do you to have anything that deeply unsettles you to your core like, to this no, okay. day? You can never talk about it unless with close friends and. In I, okay, so I don't have one of those that I want to share, but. No. But. That wasn't my question, but. No. <laughs> so shut the <laughs> fuck up. Fine, just fuck no. me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> No, so, um, fun facts. I used to have a super bad phobia of dogs. Oh. True, true story. Um, I don't remember the event itself, but apparently I was in a pram and a dog ran up to me and actually bit me oh. on, on the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Jesus. So, at least, I have a vague memory of, like, like, like just what it would, what it looked like at the time, mm. but I don't remember the pain. Four I legs, the... hair, sharp teeth, I'd imagine. That would do it. Yeah, that, 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 that would describe a dog. Or a cat, or a bear, <laughs> or a horse, I guess. <laughs> or anything with four legs. Or any kind of hairy. So even you. <laughs> four legs. Well, don't mean to brag, but um. <clears throat> <laughs> Who's my third? <laughs> no. And it's that long. It's just cats the fourth as well. Jesus Christ. It's fine. It's the right up. Anyway. <laughs> okay. You're, 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 you're cruelly so, attacked by a vicious. Wolf, wolf, hound slash bear slash whatever we Cerberus undisclosed animal that uh, escapes my it's memory. Like a fucking pigeon or something. <laughs> probably just hyping it up for views. <laughs> I got attacked by a dog and almost fucking died. Oh, I I died. I I wrong. oh no, I should have saved this story for a different podcast and I could have clickbaited it. Uh. I almost died, story time. I almost died. A dog almost killed me when gone I was wrong. three. Gone sexual. <laughs> gone wrong. Gone yeah. sexual. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, so I had a phobia of dogs for a good ten years of my life after that. Mm. And slowly but surely, my, my fear completely dissipated. Was that but the fact just through exposure to dogs? Through exposure to dogs. But mostly because um, of my uh, auntie's dog, my cousin's dog. Um, absolutely amazing dog called Cookie. And yeah. that, no, honestly, she is That's the cute. cutest dog, and she's a Springer Spaniel. Oh, mixed with a, a, a Cocker Spaniel, so it's like a Sprocker, if you want to class it as like a mixed breed. Or a Kicker. Sprocker, but huh? So the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so so after exposure to that dog specifically, I slowly warmed up put, to the put, idea put of dog children. For the audience. Do you have a picture uh, of her? I don't have a picture of her, I don't think. Oh, if I do, then I'll put it up box. here. If there is a photo, I'll put it up here, but you know, I don't know. If I have one, I will, but no. If I remember to edit it. I'll, I'll just call your aunt tonight and ask her for one. Huh? I'll just call your aunt tonight and ask her for one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going over there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll uh, say, say hi. <laughs> but no, yeah, that dog is just the cutest dog in the world. If, if there was ever a dog in the world that I'd want to, to own or to like have as my own, that would be the dog. Just because oh, Cookie's yeah. just the cutest Friendly. And, oh, yeah. friendly, like cute. Really affectionate, yeah. Very affectionate. And I think part of it is because um, she was a rescue dog. Yeah, as yeah. well. So yeah, very, much more compassionate, much more, like, tuned in to, like, uh, emotion, really, I feel. Our like. dog's a rescue dog, and he's really, like, mm-hmm. clingy and, like, yeah, emotional yeah, he, and shit. He, he, I won't say clingy, but he's clearly, like... Right. He's, he has some issues with, like, abandonment and stuff, because yeah. if, yeah. if someone needs... If anyone needs a room, he can be a room with five people. If one of us leaves, he will... When we close the door behind us, he'll sit at the door until we come back. Right. Okay. And it'll be it'll be it'll be there like for hours and, unless you come back before then. I've yeah. two or three hours, so it's just sit there. Mm. But like he's he's full of love. He's amazing. Oh yeah, no. I feel like if you find the right dog, you're gonna love them unconditionally. And 
Dogs just love you on Well, that's just because so, animals are great. Oh, animals yeah. are great. Infinitely better than humans. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. And um, as well as that, my, my cat is a rescue cat as well. Um, and we don't know her, her backstory, her tragic backstory as a super, as a super cat. But no, um, we, we believe that in all Todd seriousness... Todd is going to make a film about your cat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fell into a no one else is funny, Mary! <laughs> no one else is funny, Mary! <laughs> no, um... It's not like fucking Morty, then. Well, you know, you know what else? Yeah, you, know, you, you know what, I mean. <laughs> you, you, you know you're real piece of shit. We, 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 we live in a society. society. I'm going to fucking paint my face and dye my hair <laughs> green from brown hair. And have it work first time. Mm. Good, you realistic film my ass. Yeah. But no, um... <laughs> We don't. We believe that she was abused in her last uh, sort of like ownership, oh. um, because she was very, very nervy around us. And when we would stroke her, she'd be very, like, oh, okay. very keep away and hid under the sofa a lot for the first couple of weeks, which was very heartbreaking but understandable because yeah, clearly a traumatic event. But now that that cat, she can barely stay away from me. As soon as like every time I come back from uni, she's just like, "Oh my god, you're back! I thought you uh, died!" Kind of shit, yeah. you know. That cat can barely leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh. I'm fine to puss you off with a I fucking I knew you were going to make a shit. pussy joke! I hate you. you know, my cat's like that though as well. Like, no, he, no, ever no. since I've come, gone to uni, he's become really a fashion when I'm, when I'm back. And I didn't know that because I, I, like, I thought my cat was a little fucking gremlin. I mean, the thing and is, is that he actually has that emotion that's and like, the likes whole, me. That's the whole thing of like, you don't know what you have until, you, until it's gone. I definitely think that, cat, that pets can like... Only when you love her when you let her go. (laughs) And you let her go. (laughs) Dang it. Oh, shut (laughs) up. My cats don't give a shit now that I've gone. Like, they used to care about me, but now they're just like, oh, you're back. Oh, you're still here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. They're like, oh, we've been in your room for like six weeks. Oh, the bigger, hairless cat has come back. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) I think there is a thing that's like, that's how, like, Cats see us. Like, yeah. like the different types of cats. Hind legs. Yeah, we're just to them. We're just in, We're not like a separate weird species. giant cat. Cats see us as just a slightly weirder kind of cat, <laughs> which is ironic because the cats in cats are like that as well. Yeah. That's how they see us, probably. Here we are talking about cats once again on the podcast. It's a, it's a good musical. The movie is something to be desired, but the music itself. Reserve that stands. judgment for when we've watched it. We actually should On watch Valentine's it. Day, along uh, with Sonic. Sonic. Oh, wait, Sonic. Okay. I thought we were watching both that day. To be fair, it will probably will come out on DVD by then because it fucking tanked in the cinema. Well, right. well yeah, like, imagine, of course it did. That was gonna oh, be yeah, because of the review. Yeah, anyway. That was not going to make a billion dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> moment. I'm sorry, but that movie's not going to make like a billion dollars. <laughs> no one went into the board and being like, So cat okay, right, I've got another next way. Christmas movie that's going to kick out Star Wars. Oh, fuck, what is it? Is it like a remake of Flash Gordon? Is it like a new Marvel property? Is it, oh, is it like a sequel to like Die Hard? No. I it's a musical. Better. Oh, what musical? Is it another Blues Brothers? Is it, is it, is it Re- Les Mis? Is it, is it... Oh, I don't know. Is it like a new little trap of horses? CGI? <laughs> no. It's cats. <laughs> I, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. What was I hearing you right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. Good one. <laughs> yeah. um, it came out yesterday. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah. but at least they're, gonna, they're in costumes though, right? It's going to be stylized. No, no. It's, it's <coughs> CGI. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? A bit, bit, bit louder, please. <laughs> CGI motion capture. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! He's asleep. <laughs> I hope. I That's def- probably exactly how it went. No, that movie, de- that movie definitely got people fired. No doubt in my mind that people got fired because of how yeah. badly it's just, it's just that so movie funny tanked. That you praise it though. I like the songs. Okay. Like the musical itself, like as it stands in terms of like a song, like collection, <laughs> with a narrative throughout. I enjoy it. I like right. musicals. Okay. The movie I watched in the cinema with those songs in it was a big meme right yeah. and you I did really appre- liked it for the meme I know I appreciated it on a level as well because it was just such a fucking fun yeah. time to watch it and be like what the fuck is happening <laughs> but like but ultimately yeah it was a fucking odd film oh my god here we are on our second uh, 20 minute <laughs> <laughs> you're alright there <laughs> and that we have our two alarms we have the <laughs> and we have the <laughs> two sounds to mark our 20 minute uh, commercial break hey, area time. Look at us. With that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you wouldn't get it, would you? You don't get it. Can I go on the commercial break now? Yeah. 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 Hey there, 
Are you feeling down, depressed, and lonely? Yeah. You poor soul. Well, don't be, you little piece of shit! <laughs> well, have some Jack Daniels and it'll go away! I... I could do that. Yeah! Jack Daniels. Alcohol isn't the answer, but it sure is an option. Hello, and welcome back from that commercial break. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> welcome back from that commercial break, guys. I hope you've enjoyed whatever was in that commercial break. I think it was probably just some advert, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. We need to make a new advert, though. Yeah, me too. I've been busy. I've actually had to, like... Have, I've actually got assignments again now. Okay. So, like, my month of just bliss is completely over. I've actually had three assignments set to me in the last week alone. I've handed one in today as well. Right. We didn't hand it in. I submitted it because we don't... Like, unlike most unions in the world, we don't actually have a paper system. No, it's We essentially well, upload actually. it. We have I prefer that because I would not... Easier. I would not trust myself to be able to run down to a library yeah. at, like, one mi oh, midnight. And, and as well as that, we have stuff doing over, like, the Christmas break and it's say, and obviously you we'd did? have to... Well, we, we I think we did have Oh, I did, thing. yeah. I don't have to do it afterwards, mm. but, like... we always So we would have been Christmas. fucked if we had to pan that in in person because we have to go all the way, travel back up to Union yeah. from our respective homes. Just to hand it in physically, whereas submitting online is much easier. Or you just post it. Um, then, we, then there's also a um, another place for the film course for us to submit um, videos as well, isn't it? Cow. Cow something. Yeah. Cow. No, no, no. Last son of Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a massive Henry Cavill like binge Because of the Witcher, right? Yeah, because yeah. I was like. Because I don't like Henry Cavill as Superman. Like, he looks like him. He can really be charismatic when he wants to be. It's just the material he worked with. But, like. Every film he's been in since then, like, Henry Cavill's been, like, the standout thing for me. Right. Like, um, The Man from Uncle was really fun. He's really good in that. Okay. Um, Mission Impossible. <laughs> he's really good yeah. in that. Yeah. yeah. He had the mustache for that. The one that, the one that yeah, was in Justice one League. fucked up Justice League. Yeah, yeah there were a lot of things that fucked up Justice League. That's his own fucking episode. But um, it, really, it, really, it really is. The failures of Justice League. The DCEU's, League. like, complete, yeah, like, exactly. death. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. Yeah. But, like... He's great in The Witcher as well, and I was watching The Witcher. I was like, "Yo, he's to do that." And when he when he has interviews about that, you can tell he fucking loves it because he read the books like years ago. Oh, it's based on and books. A, well, the games that. are based off books, right? So he read all the books and then he played the video games, and he like he found out they were making a series. He's like, "I'm gonna fucking be in that shit." Nice. And that he knows good. this shit. Like he really respects. I think he got voted as the most uh, like hottest celebrity guy in the world or whatever, wasn't he? Dude's fucking... Around the same time as Man of Steel, so yeah, the it would make sense. The dude's fucking massive, but he just fucking right. oozes charm. Like, he's he's fucking cut. Like, he was big for Man of Steel. Then you see him in Man of Steel and BVS, he's literally, like, doubled in size. His chest is, like, out yeah. to here. He's a fucking beast, but, yeah. like, he's also just, like, a really good actor as well. I think, yeah, I think he's so. He's really too. good in The Witcher. Like, he manages to make, like, Geralt, like, likeable. Right. In a strange way, because if, if you're familiar with he's the He's on games, every cover of The Witcher as well, so... Like, he is Netflix, now, yeah. You see him everywhere on The Witcher. Like, on all the covers. But yeah, he manages to make the character really likeable. Yeah. And, like, I like The Witcher because it's, like, fantasy and gratuitous violence mm. without all the Game of Thrones, like, bullshit. Right, yeah, yeah. And, like, and by, that I mean, and by that I mean, yeah. like, the pretension as around Game of Thrones when it first came out, where it's like, oh, you talk to Game of Thrones. I'm like... Anything we've ever seen before, it's like... Um, in, yeah, fairness, would, in, in fairness, it's it was... It's like, mate, I watched no, Lost, or I, I've in, seen TV be in, good. Okay, in, in fairness, it was one of the most remarkable shows of, the, of, of, of that time. It's just that the writing in the last two seasons kind of really did. I heard season five, five is when it, gets to, it's when it starts. No, 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 series five. At least they still followed for the majority of the source material, and they followed a formula. They, they just tried to follow... The sort of formula that George R. R. Martin showed them from the books. So it isn't, yeah, like, it isn't, really, it isn't purely down to the yeah, show. Because that's where they caught up, didn't they? They caught up. And then George R. R. Martin five. gave them like a rough and idea. Se series six is honestly pure gold, Game of Thrones. And, but mostly it's because most of the payoff from series five is in series six. So yeah. that's why mm. series six is so good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've lost it. I found yeah. a melted pile of chocolate on my floor. Silly? Yes, silly Sally. Um, but no, yeah. Um, 
Game of Thrones was one of my favourite shows of all time until the last season came around. <laughs> because series so have um I'll finish I'll finish my chocolate first. Shut the fuck up. Chocolate. Chocolate. No. So series seven was passable because I thought that series eight would be a big payoff for the for the drag that series seven was. But series eight came around and there was no payoff for whoa, anything. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? Drag? Like when when RuPaul came in, it was sort of. <laughs> 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 it really made the sort of. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But no, I yeah. thought, wait, wasn't. I thought it was nine seasons long. No, eight. Eight seasons. Oh, I um, but no, I think I think of Walking Dead because Walking Dead's at its tenth season now. But it was at its ninth when Series Eight was around for Game of Thrones. But um, anyway, anyway, um, yeah, Game of Thrones was it had potential. It's just that I I feel like the the showrunners just wanted to rush to get to Star Wars, so they just and then they the got and they, and they, and yeah, they got got rid of Star Wars. Yeah, well, they got rid of Star Wars. They got rid of it for them. Yeah, they were like, well, it's clear they, they care about the work. No. But then if they care about that, why are they fucking hire Tracy Abrams a second time? Yeah. But, um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've watched Rise of, Rise of Skywalker now, haven't you? I've pirated this. Season. Um, what about you? Have you watched it? Do you care about spoilers? Yeah. You, you do don't, care? Don't, yeah. Don't, no, you don't. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk briefly about it. Um, what were, what were you thinking of? What do you think of Rise of Skywalker? I fucking hated it. <laughs> really? Because I really like Last Jedi. And this movie really? like. Oh, yeah, you do. And this movie was just like. That time was, last time I was like, hey, maybe anyone can be a hero. And the rise of Skywalker was like, absolutely fucking not! You need to be sent for a special line well, I feel of like sexless space monks. <laughs> I feel like that's the, that's the, that's the case, but um, for the next Star Wars trilogy, yeah, there'll be more Star Wars films. It's fucking Disney we're talking about. But no, um, they'll, in the next Star Wars trilogy, I feel like they'll definitely steer away from the whole Skywalker saga that they've created. So I feel like these... These three trilogies are kind of like the beginning, middle, end of the chapters of the Skywalker era, and afterwards mm. it'll be the same universe, but like different characters that, like, and it will refresh the the view of anyone can be a hero. Like, right, I think I think Last Jedi was was ahead of its time in the respect of yeah. telling a Star Wars story. That's why I feel they were like, oh no, no, but we need we need this person to be related to Luke and we need all of this and blah, otherwise it doesn't make sense and none of the characters mean anything. For yeah. me, Rise of Skywalker felt like, do you know that? Do you recognise that? Do you remember when you saw that in something else that you liked? It's like, yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah, the thing showing me the thing I like from something else just going to remind me of that other yeah. thing that I like because, more than this. Because Rise of Skywalker is like, Pun. is like a whole film of fan service. <laughs> Excuse you. That's my review of Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> I like the Palpatine was in it because Palpatine's just like a meme. I personally, it, and, he, and he said, um, do it, do it, didn't he? Yeah, as well. it's a meme. I, I, I hate that he's in it, but, but I like, like that he's in it in the same but, way. Okay, so I didn't mind Rise of Skywalker just because it, if you if you watch it and you just don't watch it as like a like an analytic like Star Wars fan and just turn your brain off and just just enjoy some some space robots shooting some some of our. Indiana, lingers, Indiana Jones lingers. shooting out Indiana Jones wannabes. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's it's a lot of you know mind numbing fun. That makes me sad. Said, Why? Just thinking about the Indiana Jones franchise and where it is now. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Why are they going straight from the three whole to... three films of Indiana Jones? They're going straight from three to five, which I find weird. I mean, I thought the DS games. Were good. Oh yeah, yeah, Lego Indiana Jones. Lego Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana Jones. Yeah. They're the best thing ever. But no, I know Star Wars as well. Lego Star Wars is great. The first Lego Batman game is fucking... Lego classic. Harry Potter, though. I like that. Years too. 1 to 4, yeah, the rest of them, shit. Oh, yeah, no. One, oh, no, no, 5 to 8 is... 5 to 7 is terrible. Yeah. But no, 1 to 4 is amazing. Because the first four films are the best ones. And I, don't fucking at me. The first four films are the best ones. I wouldn't say... Because after that, they all just become grey and, like, really oh, that, boring and oh, shit to look they, at. They become very blockbustery, very... Well, no, it's not even that. It's just, like, visually, I don't like looking at them. Because no. after the fourth one, they all just have this really weird, like... Filter on like them. Grey, like grey, grainy, yeah. brown shade. I'm like, like you know, magic is real. Like maybe have someone wear like yellow or some shit. Yeah. Please, I want some fucking joy yeah, in this world. Like it's so it bad, like yeah. Border of the Phoenix onwards. If I'm the Laura Zumbridge, everything is like grey. Yeah. yeah, I will have to agree with that. But um, and that's why Goblet of Fire is my favorite Harry Potter. Big, yes, big best one. Yeah. Because just just because as you never have you not watched Harry Potter. I watched one of them, but I don't know which one it is. Well, what happens in it? 
Um, something about Snape and there's a wall and he like gets pushed off it or he goes or someone. Oh, Half a Prince. Yeah, is yeah. that three D or something? Like, oh. Half Prince was a good film though. Let's be fair. I liked it. I, I liked all the films of Harry Potter. There are no bad oh, films. There's a maze. I think so. I, that's the fourth one. That's the fourth one. That's the best one. That is yes. the best one. Because okay. three is like oh maybe the fourth one is just iconic. Because because Prince of Azkaban is like things are getting serious and Prince and. Goblet no, of Fire is like, no, shit's serious now. Like, this no, is the fucking no, seriously. Man. Goblet of Fire is just iconic. You have the dragon, you have uh, the underwater mer- merman bit, and you mer have people. Any, mer people. And you have the graveyard mm-hmm. scene, and you have the you have the hedge maze. It's just full of iconic moments in Harry Potter, and it's not unrivaled, really. You have, have Goblet of Fire. You have that really cool scene in the graveyard as well. Just like, because Ralph Fiennes is great. You are? Ralph Fiennes, the guy who plays Voldemort. Yeah. He's just great. Oh, but, no, um, no, no, he's, he's brilliant. They, they, I'm glad they kept like, him on for the others. But, like, for me, I like Goblet of Fire so much because the first two are like, oh, it's a, it's a wizard world, but there are some dangers around. Prince of Azkaban is like, it's a bit... Edging it's towards a, the darker side. It's, like, and it's a bit more fucked up than you realise. Well, right. then, <laughs> then Goblet of Fire is like, yeah, they're not fucking playing around. These aren't yeah. like for ten years anymore. Even then, I feel like there was a, there was a slight, there was a slight step, in, step in the darker directions between... Um, Philosopher's Stone and and Chamber of Secrets, just because of the basilisk and and Tom Riddle at the end and, the Ginny, and Ginny terrifying. Weasley nearly dying and people getting petrified. Wait, how, really do you, dark. how do you say her last name? Ginny Weasley. You said Weasley. No, no, I said. <laughs> you said Weasley. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ginny Weasley. <laughs> Ginny Weasley. Ginny Weasley. Gives a wizard. No. Ginny Cheese Whiz. Oh God. Sorry. Um. So. Oh God. No, 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 I feel like Chamber of Secrets is a, is a step in the dark direction <coughs> as well. It is, yeah. Like, people are getting petrified, you have the giant snake, you have everything. It's really scary, but... Um, um, but no, I enjoy every film in the Harry Potter, but I do get what you mean. It does feel a lot more, not bland, but more... Well, I'm just saying on like, a visual level. I don't on a visual like, level. I don't like, I don't, I don't like looking the at them. The first four are much more appealing visually. I, I don't like that. looking at them after all the things, because they're all just yeah. fucking like a grey. Very depressing kind of view. Well, I just look at them like... I can't see what's going on. No. That's probably because I'm just fucking blind, but like, like... That's why I like the fucking MCU so much, because it's yeah. fucking colourful. I can see what's fucking happening. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's fine. There's nothing to move Because I'm a smart boy. Okay, if you say so. Right. So... Fucking digging into my stomach. So, yeah. Um... It's really, dig- it's really digging into my tummy. I just noticed about my belt. Yeah, um, man, it's fucking sick, isn't it? It's sick, bro. Yeah, bro. No. Um, so, yeah. I feel I'll probably wrap up the podcast because we're like, coming close to our... Yeah, I need a wee. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, your, and your camera's running out of charge as well. We've got six yeah. minutes left. So mm. we'll, we'll wrap it up there. I think we've said everything we need to say. Yeah. If we even had anything to say in the first place. <laughs> so, yeah. Not particularly, no. Nah. Um, no, no, so this has been fun, though, guys. Cheers. Oh, oh, fucking all right. No, it's okay. But um, yeah, so that'll do it for this podcast. I've, I've been Zachary Tomlin. That's been Otis Dowd. Just no, just Otis. Just Otis, Otis. Just Otis. Oat. Oat. with a Z. Otis. Oat. Just Oat. This, oat. Is, this has been Oat. It's an Oat cake. And this has been Doctor John <laughs> Watson. So yeah. Wait what? We'll, we'll see what? You guys. Wait, we what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, this has been the ZT podcast. I, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Is been us our slow descent into madness hey stay safe <laughs> drink, res- drink responsibly don't, Th- don't. It's way more fun to irresponsibly than we do this you guys don't have to but now you know yeah yeah and one last note <coughs> wait <coughs> that was so forced <laughs> bye guys <laughs> that's my contribution uh, oh that was a bad one I should have done that one I only just puked in my mouth. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> you just puke on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. I don't feel... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stark. I, I don't feel so good. Bruh. Bruh. No. Um, yeah. Bye, guys. I really need a piss. Well, good for you! I'm gonna piss myself! Fuck off then! <laughs> piss! Don't take a piss! Piss off! I'll piss right here! Do it. Oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> piss off! <laughs> <laughs> when did you let me watch? <laughs>
That concentration, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just, uh, I'll do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Bad shyness. Sorry. <laughs> Bad could you, could you turn away for a bit, please? <laughs> yeah, just, just stop looking. Turn around. <laughs> That's why I don't pee in public, because like, I go to a urinal and there's like a person there. I, just, I, can't. I hate I just can't. You're right. I hate no, that. Yeah. Yeah. You were ready! <laughs> you were ready. I don't say it like no, that. But the thing is, is I'm the, 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 the there like... But Henry, you're so right though. Those memes about the urinals, what what women see and what guys see is that yeah. one of the urinals between them is just blacked out. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like you space between them, right? Yeah. In the but like, like, well, that's that's just, like, like that. They could be a guy like five urinals down from me, and I'll be there like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> please, they're all looking. Anyway, <laughs> bye guys. We got the. <laughs> that's enough. No. Bye, Henry. bye guys. No. No! No! No capes! No, no capes. No capes. No capes. Milan, darling, Milan. <laughs> Can we end this? Supermodel. I think it's super about them. Can we kill oh, this? Go take a piss. Go take a piss. Your go died. take a piss. Yeah, your camera's <laughs> died. Go. You're not wanted anymore. I never was. No. Mm, that's true. But, I mean, oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> No, please come back. <laughs> you need to pee. Go to the toilet. Oh my god. Bye, guys. Have fun. Bye. Have a good time. Goodbye. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs>